We found 14 of the best foodie spots in Lucerne, and we're gonna show you how to hit them all in just two days. We're Jana and Brett, and if you've seen our other food videos, then you know that eating and drinking is one of our favorite ways to explore a destination. But Lucerne is one of the most popular Swiss cities, and while you could just show up here and pick a random restaurant, we'd rather not see you waste your money on a mediocre meal. So instead, follow us through this mouthwatering two-day foodie itinerary here in Luzerne, Switzerland. Our favorite way to start a day in Luzerne is with a satisfying breakfast at Two Hands. And the fact that they have swinging benches definitely helps. Fill up on the more traditional options like omelets and homemade pancakes, or go the healthier route by choosing a delicious smoothie, chia pudding, or granola bowl. And while we think the food is really good and fresh, it's the cozy interior and relaxing swings that invite us to linger a little longer. You know that I'm gonna do the hard work of finding and bringing you the very best coffee spots. And this little cart in Old Town Luzerne is an absolute gem. The owner, Rocky, is passionate about making a great cup of coffee, but it takes more than just passion. Her quality ingredients like small batch coffee beans and alternative milk choices means that even the most snobbish of coffee lovers will find something they like. Seriously, I could have a coffee here every day. Teaser, here's where we're eating lunch today, but before I explain all the details, I wanted to let you know that we've pinned all of these restaurants, cafes, and bakeries on a free map. We'll pop that link in the description below or you can find it on our blog. But now, let's talk about lunch. Manor Cafeteria has an incredible rooftop terrace. That was reason enough for us to try this spot in the first place. But we keep coming back for the expansive buffet selection of pretty good food and really good prices. Whenever we come here, we usually get a meat and then fill the plate with veggies, so we can definitely recommend that option. But keep in mind that Manor only serves hot food until 3.30 in the afternoon, and they're closed on Sundays. There are lots of bakeries and cafes in Luzerne, but this one might be my favorite just because it's so unique. It's called the Aspar, which translates to edible. And what they do is they go around in the evening to different shops and restaurants and pick up the food they couldn't sell. They store it overnight, and then they sell it here at the Ass Bar the next day for 50% off. It's a method to prevent food waste, but it's also a really awesome way to pick up a cheap snack when you're in Luzerne. So pick whatever looks good. Bread, sandwiches, cookies, cakes. They have a list on the wall of all the places they partner with, and in our experience, we've enjoyed some really high quality pastries and desserts at a fraction of the price. If you're grateful for these recommended foodie spots, then give us a like so we know it's helpful to you. And here's a bonus one, just because we like you. Okashe has been run by this lady. My name is Shoki Susi. For over 40 years. It's the oldest chocolate shop in the town, 75 years old. They produce these handmade truffles that are absolutely incredible. I sell chocolate and chocolate, it's my life. Somehow they just feel more authentic and are way more reasonably priced than a lot of the larger shops. It's love and passion for me. So be sure to stop by Luzerne's oldest chocolate shop and say hello to Shogi Susie for us. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and I love chocolate and I love my customers and I like the tourists. One of the best pieces of real estate in the city might just be here at Millefeuille. Pardon my French. Reserve a table in advance and ask for a spot in the room with giant glass windows overlooking the river. Or sit outside and enjoy the lively atmosphere. With vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free options available, there's something for everyone. But meat lovers will enjoy the beef lasagna, the Angus burger, or the meat pie with veal pork and mushrooms. We playfully tease my mom because she doesn't like to go out after dark when she's traveling, but we love to see a city under the moonlight. Although it's summer and the sun doesn't set till 9 p.m. right now, oh well. Either way, Luzerne is super safe, so we recommend coming up here to Gooch for drinks after dinner. A 90 second elevator ride takes you up the hill and then it's just a one minute walk to the Gooch Hotel Bar. Enjoy a cocktail or digestif inside the swinky bar or anywhere on the big terrace outside. I've been known to have quite the sweet tooth. And while healthy choices are best for breakfast in normal life, I just can't resist the sweet options when we travel. And you can definitely eat your fill of them here at Mardi Gras. I mean, look at these tempting cakes and sweets. Or if you'd like something a bit more savory, you can enjoy the traditional Swiss beer muesli or the small breakfast with coffee and juice and bread, butter, and jam. Guten Appetit. Our recommended coffee spot yesterday was perfect for a caffeine kick on the go. But today, you get to sit down and enjoy the ambiance. 
Cafe Tacuba is a specialty coffee shop and roastery, serving up one of the best cups in the city. Come for the espresso drinks, but stick around for a little rainy day reading or to soak in the authentic feel of visiting a neighborhood cafe in such a touristy city. While every bean is hand selected, don't let that distract you from noticing the interior decor. My favorite feature is the Italian mocha pots repurposed into light fixtures. Maybe we'll try that at our place. Now it's time for something a little more traditional. Enjoy a classic lunch at Wunderland. It's in one of the oldest half-timbered houses in Luzerne, and in addition to the warm atmosphere, they serve up plentiful portions of typical Swiss food, especially those from the canton of Graubünden, also called Wunderland. We ordered the traditional Flammkuchen, which looks delicious and huge, but the menu has so many classic options, just don't order the fondue yet because we're saving that for later. If you need more convincing, this place won Traditional Restaurant of the Year Award. I don't know if you can get more legit Swiss than that. I can't believe we let you go through an entire day in Lucerne without specifically recommending cheese. But don't worry, we'll take care of you today. For your afternoon snack, head to Chaz Barmettler, a family-owned shop known for their Chaz Huakli, which you'll undoubtedly sniff out before you even reach the shop. Chaz Huakli are basically super tasty cheese pies, and at just two francs a piece, there's no reason not to buy a few. But take a look at all of the options before you leave. With plenty of local and specialty cheeses on offer, you could create an incredible DIY cheese tasting or picnic to enjoy another day. Did you know that Switzerland has the highest water quality in the world? So while you're out and about, don't stop and buy an expensive bottle of water. Instead, use the Luzerne Water website to find drinkable water fountains all over the city. This website is cool because it shows you a picture of the fountain, describes its history, and tells you if it's drinkable or not. You can also see public toilets listed on this map, which you'll need after all the water, coffee, and drinks included in our foodie itinerary. As a reminder, we have a free map on our website with all of these locations pinned on them for you, except for the water fountains because there's a lot of them and there's already a map for that. If you like fondue, then definitely don't miss Fondue House DuPont. For something classic, opt for the Moiti Moiti, which has Gruyere and Alp cheese with garlic. Or maybe splurge for the goat cheese fondue. But it doesn't stop there. You can also get cheese fondue with champagne, herbs, truffles, or tomatoes. And they have meat fondue, and they have chocolate fondue too. Now, I know we already had cheese this afternoon, but when in Switzerland, eat Swiss cheese, right? Pro tip courtesy of our awesome waitress named Ha, when you get to the bottom of the fondue, scrape the bottom to get this crunchy bit, and it tastes like a cheese it So good. While last night's spot for after dinner drinks was romantic and refined, tonight you're gonna enjoy a beer and maybe a little culture too. The Rothaus Brewery is pretty young by Swiss standards, founded just 25 years ago, but new and old collaborate to create something special. The beers are brewed with water from the oldest wells in Lucerne, fed by water from Mount Pilatus, and can be enjoyed in a 400 year old restaurant. Different beers are available seasonally, but you can always enjoy the cloudy, unfiltered brew no matter when you visit. And the most unique aspect of this brewery might be the underground conduit system that allows the beer to be stored and served on tap both here and down the street at Stadtkeller, where you can sip a Rothaus brew while enjoying a Swiss folklore show. Two days is enough time to eat Luzerne, but what else do you need to know before you hit the streets? Watch this video next to see everything you need to know before you visit Luzerne or check out our convenient one-day city guide to Luzerne to make the most of every moment here. And we'll see you in Switzerland.